Hello, welcome to section 2. In this section we will build our first chatbot. Let's see how. In the first video we will take a look at various types of chatbots and pick a suitable type for our first bot. There are two types of chatbots, generative and retrieval. In generative chatbots, these bots generate the responses using natural language processing techniques. In retrieval chatbots, these bots depend on a predefined database of questions and answers. In generative chatbots, the model reads the input, processes it, and responds. It usually has a lot of grammatical errors and sometimes gibberish output. It is not good at keeping context. You can see an example of a conversation between me and the neural chatbot. Hi. The bot responds with hi, Nikki. I ask it, what is love? It responds, I'm going to see the white horse. Which white horse? A couple of months. That's a long time. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, you should have known. I'm sorry, I can't. Why? Because I've never been here before. As you can see, it doesn't make sense. Generative chatbots are built using a neural architecture called sequence to sequence. We will discuss sequence to sequence later in this course. Retrieval chatbots. In retrieval chatbots, the model matches the input to a database of questions it has. The model responds with the answer of the most similar question. Their answers are very good grammar. They are irrelevant sometimes when the input is not similar to anything in the database. Let's take a look at a conversation between me and the retrieval chatbot that I have built. Hello. Hello. I was wondering about the pricing for your domains. We have .com domains for 0.99 first year. Do they come with private email? Yes, private email is supplied. What about the pricing for international domains? We have .com domains for 0.99 first year. Pricing for international domains. We have .com domains for 0.99 first year. As you can see, it is very redundant when it doesn't know the answer for the question. Retrieval chatbot systems are usually more complex than that. They include many components from information retrieval. There are also two types of questions, open domain and closed domain. Open domain are questions that are not constrained to a certain domain. For example, you can expect questions about the weather, Hollywood, and the Nobel Prize winner this year. Closed domain are questions that target a certain domain. For example, if you have an automotive company, you'd expect questions about your products and your pricing, rather than Hollywood and Nobel Prize winners. That leaves us with four variations of chatbots. Generative open domain, generative closed domain, retrieval open domain, retrieval closed domain. For our first bot, we're going to use retrieval chatbots. Why? Because retrieval chatbots provide no grammatical mistakes, no irrelevant answers, and needless data to work. We are also going to use a closed domain dataset, because retrieval chatbots can't handle open domains. Retrieval chatbots are simple, depend on a predefined database of question-answer pairs, and are good for frequently asked questions. In order to create a retrieval chatbot, we have to follow three steps. Step 1 is encode questions into vectors using a predefined method. Step 2. Using a predefined similarity measure, find the most similar question in our database. Step 3. Return the answers of the chosen questions. We are going to discuss each step in detail. 